the way that you learn something best might be entirely different from your best friend. I'm gonna show you how to use Gemini to understand tough class topics in a way that works for you. One important skill using AI is knowing how to give good instructions or asking good questions. That's what we call prompting. And as a general rule, you need to give Gemini the right amount of detail about the task you're asking it to help you with or the problem you're looking to solve. Here are five parts of a strong prompt. Persona, task, format, context, and references. Let's quickly go through each and then put it into action. The persona is what role you want Gemini to play. You could ask Gemini to draw from particular expertise as a researcher on ancient Greece or as a biochemistry lab assistant. Or you could ask Gemini to act in a specific way, like as a brainstorming partner or a tutor who tests me for understanding without giving me the answers. Your task is what you want Gemini to do. Do you want it to analyze, outline, summarize, explain, compare, critique, elaborate on, or argue against something. Whatever you want Gemini to do, be as detailed as possible in your request. The format is how you want Gemini's response delivered to you. Maybe what's most useful as you prepare for class is a bulleted list of key points for quick review, or a table comparing two different pathologies. The context is the background information Gemini needs to give you a truly useful answer. Think about what it needs to know to help you best. This could include the specifics of your project or assignment. You could also share your current level of understanding or where you're getting tripped up. References are models you can provide AI to help Gemini understand what you're looking for. If I have a study guide that I love, I can share that with Gemini as an example for it to use to create one on a different topic. Okay, now let's put our prompting framework into action. Imagine I'm in Astronomy 101. I signed up because I've always loved reading about my star sign and horoscopes, but I quickly learned that astrology and astronomy are not the same thing. Now I'm just not getting the concept of black holes. I'll prompt Gemini to help me. Let's start with a persona. Act as a friendly and patient science tutor who is great at making complex topics easy to understand for beginners. Then I'll add my task. Explain the concept of a black hole and its key properties. Now, my format. Structure your response in three parts. One, start with a simple analogy to help me grasp the main idea. Two, then provide a bulleted list of the key properties of a black hole with a simple one sentence explanation for each. Three, conclude with some of the biggest questions that scientists still have about black holes. Now. Let's give some context on the request. I am a college freshman in an introductory astronomy course. I find the textbook a bit confusing, so avoid overly technical jargon and complex mathematical formulas. My goal is to get a foundational understanding so I can participate in class discussions. And now, because I'm a visual learner, let's give a reference of what kinds of analogies I like most. For the analogies, I find examples I can imagine in the physical world easiest to grasp and enter. Because I've given Gemini a really well-structured prompt, it comes back with a result in the format that was exactly what I was looking for, including a great analogy for black holes. They're like super heavy bowling balls on a trampoline of space-time. If you don't get what you need from Gemini the first time, try again by adding more specifics about what you're looking for. For example, you could add constraints to your request like, explain it to me in a hundred words or less. Remember, AI can make mistakes, so evaluate the information in every result it gives you. One way to verify your results is with Gemini's double check feature. Just select the three dots here and select double check response. This will run a check of Gemini's response that I can review. Double check allows you to verify its answers against information from Google search. It helps you quickly assess the accuracy of a response. When you use the feature, Gemini statements are highlighted in different colors. Green means Google found credible sources that support the statement. Orange indicates Google found content that may contradict the statement or potentially not enough sources to support the statement. This helps you critically evaluate the AI's output and provides links to sources for you to review yourself. Okay, things look good, but I still want more info. 
I can keep asking Gemini follow-up questions, just like I would if I was having a conversation. This is called prompt chaining, and it's really helpful when you're trying to understand something better. Just keep asking more questions. For example, I might follow up my first question about black holes with, how were they discovered if they don't emit light? Here are a few more tips I'd love to share with you. First, don't limit yourself by what you can type into Gemini. You can include different types of files, like screenshots and PDFs with your prompt. Or you can easily add from your Google Drive. Once added, you can ask about a chart from class, a slide from a lecture, or your Google Doc of Notes. My next tip, and this is so important for learning, use the format of your prompt to tailor Gemini's response to your learning style or what is most useful to you in that moment. Say I want to understand the differences between a presidential system versus a parliamentary system of government. I can ask Gemini for a side-by-side -side comparison in a table format, or I can ask Gemini for detailed bullet points about unique characteristics of Mozart's music. You could also ask for an outline, a chronological timeline, practice questions, key terms and definitions, and more. Need help on a problem, but don't want to jump right to the answer? Here's another tip. Enable guided learning, and Gemini will act as your partner, working with you and not just doing it for you. This lets you actively engage to solve the problem step by step, learning the how and why behind the solution, not just the what. And my final tip is particularly useful for learning on the go, or when you just want to talk it out. You can use Gemini Live. I really like using Gemini Live because it helps me absorb certain types of info better and it's really easy to use. Just open the Gemini app on your phone, click the live button and ask a question like, I'm still not understanding the difference between the passé composé tense and imparfait tense in French. Can you explain? I hear you, it can be tricky. Let's break it down. The passé composé is like a snapshot of a completed action in the past. Think of it as saying, I ate, or I finished. The imparfait, on the other hand, is more like a movie scene. It describes an ongoing or habitual action in the past, like, I was eating, or I used to eat. Does that make sense? Yes, can you give me an example in French? Sure thing. Let's say you want to talk about eating dinner. Je mange means, I ate. It's a one-time thing. But je mange means, I was eating. It paints a picture of you in the middle of the meal. Does that help you see the difference? With the tips and techniques I just showed you, you're ready to use Gemini to tackle your toughest classes and the ways that you learn best. Try it out now. Pick a tricky topic and use these prompting steps to learn more about it.